episode seven, The Leftovers. Welcome back to Asheville Brew Review. Today we're doing The Leftovers. You know what I mean. You pull that out of your refrigerator and what do you got? You got some goldfish and blueberries? Maybe some old peaches that were left over, some corn on the cob, some, I don't even know what. Leftovers, right? The stuff that's in your fridge, it accumulates, and at some point, well, you just pull it out because you're hungry, you don't feel like cooking. What are we gonna eat? We pile all leftovers together. Usually it's not so great. Sometimes though, there's certain things that are great, right? Like spaghetti sauce, always better the next day. Mm, mamma mia. Mmm. Yeah, spaghetti. Delicious. Anyways, we're gonna do it with beer. So I've got a little beer fridge here. And well, we buy six packs, we buy other types of beer, and then you get one or two little stragglers that are there. Well, sometimes my friends come over and clean me out, they drink it all, but uh, I guess I haven't had a lot of friends over, or maybe I just need friends. Maybe I just need new friends. Anyways, if you're thirsty, come over. I'm gonna drink some. Beer. We're gonna pull four out that we got today in no particular random order. I'm gonna do these. Some of them are from here in Asheville. Some of them are from kind of far away. So number one, I'm not even gonna try to say that. Delicious, delicious Hefeweizen from Germany. Legit stuff. You can get these four packs for like seven bucks here locally. They're great. Great summer beer. Great fall beer too. Oktoberfest. Got one of these left over, a big boy, gonna enjoy him. Number two, Bojum, King of the Mountain, double IPA. Very good, got a few of these left over actually, so uh, not so much a leftover, but uh, it's a good one. I'm gonna enjoy that one a lot. Uh, Native American Brewing, did a job over in Cherokee, stopped by this place, picked it up. Native Girl Pale Ale, sometimes you just need a little pale ale. And this one's actually been sitting there for a little while. This is from Holy City Brewing, which is out of Charleston, South Carolina. So, I like Charleston, great place. Great accent too. I would have to say my favorite accent in the United States is Charleston, you know? Good old Southern, my fine Charleston accent. If you're from Charleston, you're probably laughing because I probably butchered that. But Holy City Brewing, it's called the Washout Wheat Hefeweizen Beer. So I actually got two hefts here. This is from a beach trip a little while ago. Uh, last one, we'll see. We'll see how they taste. So I got some leftovers. So we'll start with leftover number one, Native American Brewing, Native Girl Pale Ale. So Cherokee, if you live in the area and you like mountain bikes, Fire Mountain, fantastic place. Did a job there, took my mountain bike, got some riding in. Stopped by Native Brews to get this, Pale Ale. I had their Hazy IPA. I saw a six pack of this on the way out, so I figured, hey, I'll get it. Why not? I was a little deceived though. Made a bruise, he let me down. Bottled, or brewed and canned by Riley's Brewing, Madeira, California. Wah, wah, wah. Anyways, we'll kind of say it's local. You sell it, it's native, it's on the res. So here we go. Just a pale ale. I like the nose, you get kind of that uh, pale, the, the hops on the nose. It's not like a big IPA, so it's not super hoppy, but it's kind of got that, uh, that nice flavor. It's definitely not like pills or anything like that. It's a nice caramel color to it. Not bad, California, via Cherokee Reservation, Native Girl Pale Ale. Not bad for a leftover, number one. Okay, number two, King of the Mountain. Bujum, this is a nice big beer. I really like this one a lot. Delicious, heavy IPA, it's got a good flavor to it. Double IPA, I think it's like eight or nine percent too, so not bad for some leftovers. Got a nice lighter color. Oh yeah, got that nice IPA now. <sighs> yeah, it kind of takes over the pale ale, kind of just rains a little bit on top of it. I guess that's why they call it King of the Mountain. So, great beer. Mm. Wish I had a few more of these left over. But anyways, it's kind of got like 
little picture of some eyes on a mountain. Maybe like a King Kong or something like that. It's got some claws coming out. So King of the Mountain, double IPA, Ujum out of Waynesville. This is good stuff. Not bad for a leftover. All right, we're on to number three, all the way from Charleston, South Carolina, Holy City Brewing. They call Charleston Holy City because I guess right from its inception, it was the place to build a church. Religious freedom, You've got tons of churches in Charleston, beautiful town right there on the, the coast. The beaches are far away. I love it. Not too far from the mountains in North Carolina either. So washout wheat Hefeweizen beer. Let's see what this one is all about. It's actually got a couple of dents in it. Went to the beach and back a time or two in the cooler, but uh, here's a little bit of summer, 2021. I miss you already. Let's see here. So we're on to the hefts, the wheat beer. One of my personal favorites, nothing like it in the summer. Just a great, great flavor. Not a lot of foam on the top though. Got some bubbles, but It's a good beer. I like it. It does, um, doesn't taste like a Hefeweizen to me, to be honest. It tastes a little bit more like a Saison, which I also love, so it's quite welcome. But it's got, it's got a little bit of spice to it. It's got some flavor. It doesn't have that typical German foam and that, that great wheat flavor of a Hefeweizen. It's a little bit more like a Belgian uh, Saison, but it's good. It was good on the beach a couple months ago, and it's good tonight. Sometimes the leftovers are fantastic. So go Holy City. That's the white dude on the beach with the big beer belly. That was pretty much uh, summer 2021. And last but not least, these are really in no particular order, but the two halves went up together. Got my Tupelo Honey Cafe mug, beer glass, pint glass. Uh, good place, good breakfast, I like it. Here we are, the legit German stuff. I'm not even trying to pronounce all that. It's just a Hefeweizen. My uh, German people are very disappointed in me. I can't even say But here we go. This is the real deal. If you want to try a real Hefeweizen, Franz Connor's good. This is one of my personal favorites. Look at that. Beauty. It's home on the head. It's a little cloudy because of the wheat. That's legit. That is where it's supposed to be. Not bad for a leftover. This is my last one too. Kind of the end of the summer, right? We're in fall, a little sad, a way to go. But here it is. You get these at Harris Teeter. I think it's like $6.99 for a four pack. It's a nice big can. Fantastic, great beer. If you're gonna be out by a campfire, you're gonna be grilling, anything outside. Unless it's really cold. This is great. Well, that's the thing about the leftovers. You just you just kind of pull whatever's in the fridge and you say, you know what, this is gonna be great. Even if it's kind of some flavors and you don't think that they go well together, sometimes it just works out like a charm. So here we are, look at this. Bojum, King of the Mountain, double IPA. Nice type of Weizen right there from Germany. Charleston, South Carolina, representing Holy City Brewery and California by way of Cherokee Reservation. Native brew. Of the leftovers. This is a lot of beer though. I just had a big old plate of pasta. Yeah! Woo! Mamma mia. And, um, I'll probably get a little help with, uh, with getting these solar ass down. Now, solo with us, right? The, uh, the leftovers. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want me to taste anything here in the Nashville area, there's new breweries popping up all the time. Give me some ideas, throw some comments there. We love going out and seeing what Asheville and Western North Carolina has to offer. These are the leftovers, which means I can fill up the fridge again with something new. So episode seven, the leftovers, they're gonna be gone soon. Yeah, okay. So episode seven, The Leftovers, that's a wrap.